imagine a real portable bike that you can easily carry in the backpack with your laptop and books. Sounds like magic? If your answer is yes, let us introduce you our product, Impossible Bike, the world's smallest folding electric bike with a unique design that fits into a backpack and lightweight enough to go with you anywhere at any time. It allows you no longer to leave your bike outside in the snow or rain, not to waste your time trying to find a parking space, not to fear about leaving it in an unfamiliar location, and to worry that it might be stolen. This is the product that will offer Danes the level of quality, portability and flexibility not offered by any other product of this market, and will make Danes' dream come true. This video gives a clear picture on marketing plan used for launching an absolutely new product in Copenhagen, Impossible Bike. In the first step, we will give you the information about the selected market to explain why we decided on distributing this product in Copenhagen. Then we will present you a brief description of consumer profile and show the reasons of choosing this segment. The third step covers marketing mix strategies of the product. In the next step, we'll share the information about key risks, challenges and required resources. And finally, we'll tell you some facts about our future plans. Are you ready? So, let's take a look at the business environments we tracked before making the final decision on an overseas market, which is Denmark. Political situation in Denmark is basically stable. It's an opportunity for our company to grow on this market. The government does its best to create better conditions for cyclists and to turn Copenhagen into a bicycle heaven. The report by the European Cyclist Federation proved that fact by announcing Denmark as the most bike-friendly country in Europe in 2015. Denmark has the second most competitive economy in Europe and the sixth best in the world. GDP per capita is $52,000. The incomes are stable, so people can not only easily afford to buy our product, but even to manage with prices much higher than the price of our bike. Copenhagen is world famous for its biking culture, and Danes are the most bike-friendly nation in Europe. Due to the fact that this is the city with more bikes than people, there are huge problems with parking, and our portable bike can solve this issue. The number of city dwellers who commute by bikes is above 50%, so our product might be just the thing they need. The technological environment is developing fast. Danes are already used to new technologies offered on the market and are open to any other innovative products like our bike. This month's bikes outnumbered cars in Copenhagen and this tendency will continue to grow. It's a great opportunity for our company to make our positions on this market stronger. We tried four major variables to segment the market. Here is the result. Problem solvers are high school and university students and young business people of ages ranging from 16 to 35 who live in Copenhagen, the region with the most flat landscape. Almost 25% of population of the capital fits this segment. They are quite young and appreciate new technological products of high quality. Problem solvers are not price sensitive because the average amount of money Danes spend on bike is much higher than our price. Our segment uses bikes to commute as all Copenhageners do, but they always face the problems such as lack of parking places and possible bike theft. Problem solvers will solve these problems by purchasing our bike. In addition, Danes don't pay much attention to country of origin of bikes due to the fact that Denmark imports them from all over the world. For students and young business people, Impossible Bike offers quality, flexibility and portability because it's the world's smallest folding electric bike with a unique design that fits into a backpack and is comfortable in carrying. Impossible Bike comes in the shape of an ordinary bike that supports weights of up to 85 kilos and can reach a speed of 20 km per hour. Once customer folds it up, he can easily put it into his bag, as it's only 43 cm tall and weighs 5 kilos. One more advantage is that it can be charged anywhere there is an outlet. Technology has worked hard on the frame design and color schemes, so it's not just functional, it's also pleasing to the eye. Our bike comes in three colors, and we also have removable covers for the wheels in a variety of colors, but for additional charge. As for the packaging, you can fold and store the bike inside coated carrying case, which is also the bike's seat. Also, one year warranty is provided. Our company uses cost-based prices. It might change with time as the product will get more well known. The price of an impossible bike is 399.99 euros, while the average price of e-bike in Copenhagen is 900. 
Our product will be available for Copenhageners in our Impossible store and also on the official website and in pop-up stores for the first months. As our bike is a recently invented technology, potential customers should get enough information to understand what it is and how to use it. Considering the advertising expenses for each bike is approximately 50 euros and our first stock is 2000 bikes, our budget will be 100,000 euros. Here are the components of our promotion mix. We will promote our product using internet, TV and outdoor advertising. First, 100 buyers will receive a backpack as a gift. Those who will buy two pairs of wheel covers will get 5 euros discount. Anyone who shares the official website link in any social network in one month period has a chance to get our bike for half the price. The winner will be randomly selected. We will have free pop-up stores on the main squares of the city, where people can see and try the product during the first months after launch. Our future objectives are to expand globally, to train the potential employees to provide great customer service, to reduce bike's weight, to make battery last longer, to introduce more colors. Now around 40% of bike parts are customizable and we plan to turn this 40 to 100. Also, we plan to create more accessories using co-creation. A person whose idea will be chosen will receive the accessory for free and will be credited as the designer on our website. Then we are going to reduce our production expenses. And finally, we want to add Bluetooth and GPS functions. In order to make all our future plans come true, additional funds will be required. And also taking into consideration the fact that Denmark is country with the highest tax rates in Europe, it will definitely be one of the main challenges. The biggest risk is that new competitors with better products can enter the market.